Every week, the San Jose Flea Market brings us stories of athletes overcoming adversity to succeed in both school and in sports. This week, we walk a mile in the shoes of Oakland Tech wide receiver Marcus Simpson. It is a long road for such a short life. 17-year-old Oakland Tech wide receiver Marcus Simpson begins his journey home to Hayward after a hard day of school and football practice. But these are just the latest steps on a long and emotional journey. My dad, he was on and off of work, and so we had to move to a lot of states. And, you know, it, it was pretty hard, you know. So I moved to Arizona, Philadelphia, had to live with my aunt, had to live with my grandma, and had to, came back, had to come back here. And, you know, my dad couldn't keep a job. My mom right now, I'm not sure where she's at. She's probably on some drugs, but I'm living with my auntie because that's the most stable place I've been at at this moment. Living with his aunt because his father left the family years ago and his mother is on the streets doing drugs. With no father or mother in his life, Marcus has other role models to keep him focused on his goal of attending college. It was expected from me, you know, from every part of my family. They always knew I would, they always knew I would do good in school. And my sister, my brother, they always, they, they were doing, they're, they had, they're in college right now, so I figured I might as well do it too. There is nothing easy about the road Marcus has decided to travel. His days are long, the work in class and at practice is hard, and the reward is anything but certain. Marcus knows very well others in his shoes are walking the streets of Oakland on a much easier path where crime can pay off quickly for a young man with no parents. If you do a crime, well, the dude's trying to get some money, the dude's trying to pay his bill, the dude's trying to do something. You know, you can't always say he's a bad person. You know, and that's what people don't understand sometimes, and it really just, it really just irks me sometimes they don't get it. And, I mean, it's, it, it's not their fault, but, you know, they really got to realize, you know, people go through a lot and they got to do what they have to do. That's what a lot of African Americans do, these, do during this generation, you know. It's, it's really hard. Really hard for Marcus, whose mom left just a year ago, leaving him and his younger brother and sister behind. She was an addict, and, uh... She used to get a lot of money from my dad, and she used to waste that money. And for years and years, like, she's been on a lot of stuff for years and years, and I've known it. I just, I tried to say nothing about it. And she just, she wasted the money, and I'm, I'm sitting here with my little brother and sister, and got really nothing to eat. So now the three live with his aunt in Hayward and Marcus stays focused on college. He is doing everything he can to make sure his life stays away from the streets and stays on the right path. Marcus doesn't talk about his home life to his teammates, but they know and they respect what Marcus has done in the classroom to make himself better. I'm uh, very proud of him. And uh, just due to the fact that, you know, uh, he still comes here humble and ready to work and doesn't quit. Uh, you know, like, because we, like, at, here at Tech, uh, quitting is just not an option. Like, on and off the field, in your life, outside your life, quitting is just not an option. That pride is part of a change at Oakland Tech. In the past, a smart student might be the subject of ridicule. Now, being a top student is seen as a badge of honor. We have study hall from 3.30 to 5.30, 5 o'clock every day. We actually start practice after study hall. So as coaches, we have to come to the grips and look, our players is education first. Students first, athletes second. Marcus has the respect of his coaches and teammates, and he is working every angle to get to college. It's nearly 9.30 each school night when Marcus arrives home at his aunt's apartment in Hayward. He will spend the rest of the night studying, maintaining a 3.3 GPA, including AP English and government. There are no parents to greet him at home, no family member in the stands to cheer him on. Just the words from an AP English poem to lead him on. I took the road less traveled by, and that made all the difference. Marcus is involved with a number of programs at Oakland Tech to earn scholarships for college. He is determined to follow in the footsteps of his older brother and sister, and he's doing a great job. Understands how important education is at, a, at an early age. Huh? He really gets what's going on in his life, and he's determined to, to get out of that situation. Great to see him doing it. Yeah. Veriday Design brings us the best design.